Welcome to the fifth in the series of tutorials on Pattern Aid. Today I'm going to talk about the final steps in wrapping up a pattern and publishing it for other people. So my first thing will be I'm going to look at my, the My Account panel and more specifically the details about myself which are under the My Account tab. I would like to market myself uh, a little better and because I've got the studio subscription I can choose a logo. Now the logo I'm going to use for this tutorial is just one that I've found for a demo and it's called Startup Fashion and I'm going to show that my website is www.startupfashion.com Now I'm going to click update and now every pat uh, pattern I publish will be uh, populated with my branding and my logo. So I'm going to open up a pattern that I've created earlier and have a look at this. And one thing you'll see is there's this checkbox on the panel here on the right. And this allows me to see how these pieces are going to be laid out on the bits of paper for the PDF version of the pattern. So with that selected, I can see that I have page number two here has a little bit of that pattern edge neck coming into it. So I might uh, move the pattern across, the piece across, so that it fits better onto that page. So with the piece in a better position, I can see that the pages are, are much better aligned. Now I'm going to save my pattern. And saving is a two-step process. I first save it, and then I first encode it, then I save it. And it will show me that I've got two downloadable options. The first I'll look at is the PDF option. And here we see the PDF that's been generated. It comes out with a first page which is like a map of how the other pages are laid out. And as you scroll down you see all of the pieces laid out in such a way that they can be joined together and cut into a pattern by someone out there. The uh, logo is presented in the header and the website that we selected is clickable and that's uh, actually a working link. If I go back to my pattern, I can see that I have another download, which is EPS file. I'm going to click that there and see where that, and download that EPS file. After I've downloaded it, I'm going to open that. And here we can see my uh, EPS pattern loaded and drawn as one piece of, uh, one document that can be printed into one large format uh, piece of paper, which is much more appropriate for high-end users who know who have access to those kind of facilities. Everyone else is probably going to be obliged to use the pieces of paper and sticking them together, but that has a quality issue involved, so the EPS option is far better. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate everyone who's followed these tutorials. If you have any feedback for me, please don't hesitate to click on the feedback button in the bottom right. It's a very important part of the process. I really enjoy having the comments come back to me. Many thanks and bye.